What's an aimbot? Oh my god, Widow, I fucking love you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, though. Oh my god, I love your YouTube channel. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I hope everyone's doing well, fantastic. Playing the games, enjoying life, clicking the heads, doing the things. Hope all is well. I know all is well with me. I know we haven't spoken in a long time. I haven't uploaded in two weeks. And there's a very good explanation for that. And I, I want to talk about it, okay? So, this is going to be a talky video because there is no comms in the game. Enjoy the Widow gameplay in the background, but I want you guys to really listen. This is important. Um, so, over the last two weeks, I've been very, very busy. Very busy, okay? As you guys know, YouTube is not my job. I, I am an electrician. I've been an electrician for seven years. Uh, right out of high school, I got right into it. I started crushing it, and I just went with it. And I've never taken time off. I've never taken holidays. I just kept grinding, grinding, grinding. Because one day, I wanted to get to where I am now. That was long-term goal, and it took a very long time. But... Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be hard to say um, So these last couple weeks I just I crushed it and the reason behind me working so much and trying to do what I'm doing Is because I'm taking two months off of work to try to do YouTube full-time. I'm gonna I'm gonna do YouTube and Twitch full-time you guys uh, <laughs> I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm, I'm very scared. I know uh I know most of the audience is younger, you, lots of kids, and I mean it's a video game, right? And it's YouTube, so a lot of you guys can't relate. Even though you might think you do, you really, you really don't relate. But a lot of the audience is older, and a lot of them know exactly what I'm about to say. It's hard, man. It's scary. Like you can't just quit your job and try to do something like this. Like it's, it is scary. Life is expensive, especially because I just bought a house, right? Like. I buy a house. Uh, here, I'm gonna give you some numbers, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. This is 100% honest. No cut, 100% real. So, between all my bills, I'm I almost need $2,500 a month just to get by. Just about. That's food. That's everything, okay? That's a lot of money. Like, I know a lot of you guys might think that I make money off YouTube, but you don't make that much money off of YouTube. You really don't. So. Right now, I think that doing it part-time like I am, I think if I did it full-time, I might be able to get by, and I want to try. I mean, life is about taking risks, and if you don't take risks, you're not going to go anywhere. You're just going to stay in the same spot. You're not going to... Nothing's going to change, right? And that's my mentality. And it's scary. Like I said, like the older, the older people that watch my videos, like, you guys all know. You guys understand that... It, it, it's a scary move but I've I've been trying so hard to make this happen that I, I have to try right basically up until this point my schedule is wake up at 6 a.m. go to work work all day get home around 530 get all my gym stuff ready I work out seven days a week I go to the gym I come home I eat some supper by the time that's all done, like, it's already late in the evening. I might play an hour of video games, and then I have to go to bed. Like, I, I don't have time, right? And when I first started, when I when my 10 hours of Widowmaker video blew up, I was like, this is what I wanted, right? Like, I did YouTube for so long trying to get, trying to get known, and it was finally happening. So I was like, this is, this is time, like, I'm grinding. So I was sleep deprived for, it's been about a year really, a solid eight months, solid eight months. And I just hella sleep deprived every night. Just all that was on my mind was trying to do YouTube and with my schedule, I just couldn't do it. Like I tried and tried and tried. So when it got to this point where I'm at right now, it's like, if I want to keep going forward with this, I need to I need to take risks and and do this shit full time, and that's where I'm at, and that's what I'm trying to say to you guys. So, full time, baby, we going in. YouTube, 
Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming. Uh, I'm not affiliated or anything. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm I'm in no rush for that. But so come check it out. I know I know Twitch is popping right now with Fortnite. So a lot of you guys been getting Twitch accounts and checking out Ninja and Myth and Daquan. They they crazy by the way. I've been loving Fortnite. I've been watching those guys. Oh, beasts. But anyways, point is. Check me out on Twitch, you guys. Just come hang out. It's gonna be a blast. Like I said, I'm not affiliated or anything like that, so it's just it's just for fun for now. The the big thing for me is trying to do YouTube full time. So I'll be playing a lot more Overwatch. I'll be doing my thing. Here's a, here's another thing too that people don't realize. <clears throat> I'm gonna ramble for a little bit at this point, okay? I gotta explain some stuff. So when I first started playing Widowmaker, it's been about a year, okay? I think when I did my 10 hours of Widowmaker, that was back in April. And that was legitimately my first 10 hours of Widow. When I hit that 10 hour mark, I stopped and I put together that video. That was the first video I ever tried to edit, as you can tell, because it looks like garbage. But that was 10 hours, and that video popped off, and I'm so grateful for that. But it was like 10 hours a year ago, and I'm at like 130 hours now. That's not a lot of time on Widowmaker. Like, I barely play her. And I know a lot of you guys think that I'm the best Widow player in the game. And truthfully, I'm not. I'm not. There are people better than me. And it's like, there's some insane players in this game. But I guess my point is that if I put in more effort and I get to play the game as much as these dudes do, I think I can be the best. I do believe that. And that might sound arrogant or egotistical to some of you. I, I know this, this, there's a lot of people in this world that take things the wrong way. Trust me, it's not. It's, I'm trying to be real with you. I think that if I do this, I think I can. Up until this point, because I knew that I wasn't going to be the best, my, my whole thing with the whole YouTube stuff was I wanted to be a positive role model, and that's the direction that I took my channel. I know a lot of you guys see that and realize that. When I would go onto YouTube, I, w I would look at YouTube, and all I would find in my recommended is toxic this, toxic that. People freaking out and calling each other racist shit and just being just being rude to each other. And I was like, why does it have to be like that? Why? Why can't people just be good to each other? And I was like, that doesn't get views. People upload all these crazy toxic videos because it, it, it gets views for them. And that's all people care about. So I was like, I want to try to take this in a different direction. I want to be that positive guy. I play the off-meta hero, the hero that gets shit on all the time. And I want to try to make a difference. So that's what I did. And that's that's what happens. I get I go into a game now. And 9 times out of 10. Everybody loves it. Like they're like oh my god Jenks. Play Widow. Play Widow. And it's <laughs> it feels so good. It's amazing. And I have you guys to thank for that. Honestly. It's not me. Like I'm, I'm doing my part in trying to spread the positivity. And trying to send a message to everybody. But you guys are also doing it, and it's showing. It seriously is. I don't know about you guys, but so far season 9. And granted, I've only played about 30 games this season. So this season has been the best season for me so far. It honestly has. Like, yeah, sure, I know everybody's got different definitions of being toxic and stuff. I know a lot of people get tilted when they're like they're losing and stuff and they'll call somebody t toxic for being tilted and frustrated but that's not being toxic I'm talking about when somebody's straight up calling somebody names and yelling and freaking out and that's toxic trying to win games and being competitive that's not so this season has been the best season for me I don't know about you guys but it has been the best and I think that we do have a part in that. Not just me, but each and every one of you that watch my videos that see me try to be a positive role model, that see me try to be happy and nice to one another. I know it sounds corny because like we're in a day and age now where you can't be nice to somebody without it being loserish and corny. But I don't, like I said, man, I'm keeping it real. Like you want the community to change, and we're doing it. Like, ever, there, you see streamers and YouTubers, they're quitting, and they're like, oh my god, I hate Overwatch, it's so toxic, I'm quitting because nobody's nice. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, you have a fucking message, you have, you have a name to spread a message, excuse me, you have a name, you have an audience, you have a following, why don't you try to change that? 
And that's what I'm trying to do. And you guys are catching on to that. And it shows in game. It seriously does. And I appreciate that. Like, so much. So keep doing what you guys are doing. S spread that loud positivity. And try to be try to be good to one another. I know the game is super competitive. And when, when you're an anonymous player on the internet. In a competitive scene. You're going to get toxic sometimes. You're going to get tilted. Things are going to... Like, it's going to happen. It's natural. But... The less that we see of it, the better. And it's, like I said, it's never going to go away 100%. But the little bit that we can change is, like, it's amazing. So <laughs> I'm kind of rambling on now, but I, I, had to, I had to speak on that. It kind of crossed my mind, and it's just like, we have to talk about that real quick. Uh, yeah, so full-time, April 1st. I'm, I'm done work for two months. Two months, you guys. So I'll be streaming. I'll, I'll get a... A stream schedule set up. You follow me on Twitter, cause until I get a stream set up or uh, stream schedule. Wow, words. Stream schedule set up. I will be posting on Twitter when I'm going live. It's gonna be sporadic at the start, but like I said, once I once I get everything sorted out, it's gonna be it's gonna be go time. Even the YouTube's gonna be popping. I'm gonna try my best to upload every single day, because I'm able to play enough. I'll be able to upload every day. I I can. I can see it now. It's going to be amazing, you guys. I'm so stoked. So, I guess the last thing I want to say is thank you to each and every one of you. I know you hear this from every YouTuber that has popped off and has been able to do this full-time. But I, it, it means so much. It seriously does. Like, this is something that I've wanted for so long. And it's finally happening. And it's amazing. I'm actually at a loss for words at how how grateful I am. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate it so much, you guys. It's amazing. So with that said, I'll uh, I'll, I'll get to uploading you guys. I hope, I hope you guys enjoy, it and I'll see you on the next one. Resurrect you with the team that got my jinx I got this screen Got to the map, bitch, I ultra quick They can never really keep up with my ultimate Put the scope on your throat, knock back, let it go What's that? Got a widow's kiss Cause you look around the map where the widow is Throw it up, thanks squad, dog, you know this